Hey everybody, it's Lee here. Uh, welcome to another video. Um, so this is really a problem slash solution video for a common or a problem that I actually experienced um, today when trying to use uh, my Firefox uh, browser. Um, so today what I realized across um, several of my um, computers is that um, some of my Firefox extensions have basically been disabled. Um, so after having so learning how to fix that, I basically thought I would share that process with you. Um, so the uh, extension that I primarily use and the one that was disabled was actually called LastPass, but I also have a uh, Adobe PDF plugin and a Flash plugin as well, and they was also disabled as well. And that's because of a Firefox um, automatic update. Basically, these extensions are unverified. Um, so Firefox has deemed them to be um, unsafe to use and disable them. Um, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix those and restore them. Um, so the first thing you want to go to is open up your Firefox browser. Um, I'm using uh, 43. Um, 42 worked fine, so 43 is the one with the problem. Um, so you, with the Firefox browser, you go to the toolbar and then go to Tools. And then you want to select Add-ons. And then if you click on the extensions on the left hand side, uh, you'll see that there's the various extensions that have been disabled. Um, on this particular machine, LastPass is still working, um, but on my other machines, that was also disabled as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to basically re-enable these other ones that you might want enabled. Um, so if you just click on on this link, this more information, it tells us a little bit more about the problem. Um, but we want to select this one. What can I do if Firefox disables a plugin? Um, if you read it, this is what you need to do. It says, so I'll just copy this. You basically want to open up a new tab and type about colon config and just uh, hit enter. And there's a safety warning just to say that. Um, Basically, if you break anything, it's going to be your own fault. Um, so you just click on um, the button. And then if we go back, we'll see yeah, it tells us to look for a specific thing, which is called uh, XP install.signatures.required. So we're just going to go back to the about config page. And at the top, we can search for it. So I'm just going to paste it XP install. And then it's going to show us down here um, XP install signatures required. And so if we just select that one, if we uh, just double click it, um, then it should change to false. And that's the one that you want it to change to. So by default, it's set to true, which is this one, the, the broken sort of version. And we want to change it to false, which basically will allow any of our unsigned um, extensions to work. So then we can just um, we can just close that and we can close Firefox now. I just can close the multiple tabs and then we'll just reopen that back up. Um, so now we should be able to see hopefully that our add-ons are now enableable. If that's a word. Um, yeah, so now we can uh, enable these things. Um, I'm just going to close it and restart it again because it these particular ones require a double restart. I think um, there was a possibility that those particular the other ones were not running in the first place, but I just want to give you guys to show how it works. Uh, yeah, so now they're actually are working. Um, it's still like got like a yellow haze to it, but that just indicates that it's not uh, verified, so proceed with caution, but it's actually enabled. So that's good. So yeah, that's how you solve it. So just to recap, you go to the open up new tab the about uh, config, uh, click on the uh, confirmation and then search the top XP install. And then you want the XP.signatures.required and then just change, double click that, which changes it to false and that allow you to run your extensions without any issues. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for you.